The IoT protocol is the networking language used by the nodes of an IoT system and is critical to the overall viability of the deployment. The protocol defines the scope, format, and complexity of IoT solution communications and plays a major role in determining cost and functionality. Therefore, it is important to choose the right protocol. There are two main continuums to consider. Power, do the sensors need to be in the field on battery power for days, months, or years? How often do they need to report? Are disposable devices being considered, or will replaceable or rechargeable batteries be used? Connectivity, what range must the communication cover and how much data need to be sent per message? Will the cellular provider be able to maintain your connectivity, or do you want to keep your network and the data running on it? Where the demands of IoT deployments fall along these continuities will often indicate which protocols they should consider and what costs to expect. The smallest and least demanding IoT setup suitable for a connected home or office can operate on a common Wi-Fi network with all components continuously powered. Other options for proximity connectivity are Zigbee, Z-Wave, and Bluetooth. Each technology has its advantages and disadvantages in terms of power, range, and cost. For larger areas like farms, campuses, or cities where small amounts of data transfer are needed, standalone low-power wide area networks LPWANs, are the perfect answer. Lower AWAN and Sigfox are two of the most popular LPWANs. Cellular protocols like NBIoT or CATM may seem increasingly practical when talking about coverage areas and across borders. Cellular IoT protocols provide a way to leverage IoT data on a regional, national, or even transcontinental scale, without the need for pre-established gateways to create coverage. Instead, the provider's already existing base stations will transmit IoT data. This also means that your IoT will have the same blind spots as cellular networks, and if the network connection is interrupted due to maintenance, subscription restrictions, emergencies, or other reasons, your IoT will also crash. However, ease of deployment and coverage often outweighs the costs and limitations of relying on cellular providers. After watching this video, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment zone and we will try our best to answer them.